So a big difference from this equation uh, and other equations you might have been used to solving is now x is being squared. It's not just x to the first power with nothing written up here. So you actually solve it in much the same way. You want to get that x by itself. So one first step you could do is subtract 7 from both sides. So that's what we have left over after you subtract both sides by 7. Now this is saying 2 times x squared equals 54. So the opposite of timesing 2 is dividing by 2. Like that. So you're going to have x squared on the left. Uh, 54 divided by 2, that's 27, right? 27 on the right. So x is still not by itself because it's saying x squared. So in order to undo squaring something, you can take the square root of both sides, but you cannot forget when you take the square root to cancel out a squared, you got to think of a, a positive and a negative solution. So we say positive or negative square root of 27. Now, uh, typically in math, we don't leave this as our final solution because you can reduce this radical. You can rewrite it like this because uh, 9 times 3 gives you 27 again. But I, I specifically rewrote it as these factors because the square root of 9 is known. This right here. So this would be our final answer. X is positive or negative 3 squared to 3. So two solutions.